Hi, my name is Richard Sheehan, and I'm here to teach the business writing class for the Kenichi Omai Graduate School of Business. And I'm looking forward to working with each and one of you over the next few weeks and months to help improve your writing skills. So let's begin. First slide, as you can see, it says the longest journey starts with a single step. Well, what does that mean exactly? Well, writing is a long process. You know, what I'm going to do here is give you some basic tools and applications to make you a better writer. But it's not going to happen immediately. It's going to take time. So it's a step-by-step -step process that we're going to go through. So in this course, what we're going to try to do are several things. First, we're going to try to learn the key elements of effective writing. Now, there are many aspects we're going to talk about, but we're going to try to just focus on really the key things that are going to make you a more effective writer. And the whole idea here is to write clearly, concisely, and logically. Because in business, that's really important, to have a clear, concise, logical message that the other person can understand. And obviously, we want to improve your overall written communication skills. That's why we're here. So in terms of our course, how we have it set up, today we're going to talk about some basic elements in getting started in terms of writing. Then we're going to talk about how we go about generating content, ideas for your writing, in terms of a memo, report, or email. Then we'll have our first web conference, where we'll discuss some of these items, trying to bring everything together and give you some more examples. Lecture three, we'll talk about structuring the message. So how do we go about creating this clear, concise, logical message that's easy to follow? Lecture four, we'll talk about setting the right tone in terms of addressing the audience's needs or the reader's needs that you'll be writing to. Then we'll have our second web conference. Again, trying to go over this, those key points that we covered in the lectures three and four, and also giving you some more examples that you can use. Then lecture five, we'll talk about writing business memos. So we'll take the basic tools and applications we learned in the first four lectures and try to apply them more in a business memo situation. And then lecture six, we'll talk about writing emails, which is the most common type of written communication you have in business. And this will be followed by our final web conference, where we'll talk about our final project. In terms of evaluation, you'll be assessed on several things. First, lectures. So what you're doing right now, you're watching a lecture, good for you, and then you'll hopefully participate in the online forum that goes with it in terms of discussion. That will be 30 percent. Another 30 percent will come from the actual web conferences in terms of participating, giving ideas, and sharing, interacting with your classmates. And the final 40 percent of your evaluation will come from this final assignment which will be based around writing a final memo or business memo for a case study that we'll be looking at at the very end.